Hi there and welcome back. It's Carol here and I'm back with another What I Ate Today video. This is where I show you how easy it is to eat a whole food plant-based diet even on a busy weekend. So I have been out shopping. I went to the swap meet, which is like a farmer's market that has a lot of touristy items also. And I was looking for some zucchini, some veggies, something. They used to have really good deals there, but I did not find anything decent. I did find these massive watermelon radishes. They're so spicy and pretty. So I cut up a bunch of this and I am having it on a salad. Then I went to Whole Foods and got some zucchini local zucchini and it's actually cheaper at Whole Foods than it was at this farmer's market, which is bizarre. And I got this huge bag of red peppers there too, organic red peppers. And this was only $6.99, so I thought that was a good deal. I cut one of those peppers up and put it on my salad and I have some spring mix here and my potato ranch that is all gone now. And I'm excited to dig into this, I'm pretty hungry. I just put some garlic salt and pepper on top really excited to eat this. I also have some purple sweet potatoes in the air fryer. It's a pretty quick way to cook purple sweet potatoes. They take a long time to cook, but it looks like they're just about done. I'm gonna throw some of those. They got really crispy like croutons. So I think those will be good on my salad, especially the small bits. And this is gonna be lunch for me. I'm also making banana bread for the boys. This is just oats that I whizzed up in the Vitamix to make into flour, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, vanilla, a dash of salt, and a bunch of mashed bananas. And that's it, I don't put any sweetener in it, don't tell them. I don't put any sugar, let's see if they notice. And I just eyeball it, I, put a, I also put a couple tablespoons of chia seeds in the blender with the oat flour to grind those up. And I put about half a cup of soy milk in there too, just to get it mixed up together. And this is gonna go in at 350. I'm gonna stick this in the air fryer too. And cause my air fryer is kind of like a toaster oven air fryer thing. So I have made banana bread in there before and it turns out wonderful. Mm. Mm. It's plenty sweet for me with those bananas. I don't think it needs any sugar. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yum. Yes, so if you're looking for a quick breakfast for your kids or yourself, or even just a healthy snack, if you have some super ripe bananas, these were really ripe and spotty, and they're super sweet, so they make a delicious banana bread. This takes about 45 minutes, or maybe a little bit more to cook. Mm. I'm going to a dinner party at a dear friend's house tonight. I'm so excited. Don't know what I'm gonna bring. I have a bunch of veggies, but I don't have anything really prepared. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna bring, but I'm excited for that. In the meantime, I'm gonna eat my lunch and I will catch up with you guys later. My neighbor is using his power tools, but I also wanted to show you, I went to Habitat for Humanity. It's a thrift shop and people donate things to them. And then when you purchase things, the money goes to build houses for people that don't have a house. So I bought some little wine glasses. They were 50 cents each. I got four of them. And then I also got six white plates. Our dinner plates are huge, they're this size, and I usually do have a large portion, but the kids don't, they eat a little more calorie dense things, and they, um, these are good size, and they're lightweight. They're not as big as these huge plates, and it's good for just having a, a basic meal. But I wanted some medium sized plates, and these were a dollar each. So, score! I love going to thrift shops, and we don't have a lot here, but this one was new to me. I'd never been there before, so I stopped in there. Or got some new dishes for cheap. Okay, it's actually the next day, and I did not film at all at the dinner party. I didn't even take my phone out of my bag. My friend Mary has a beautiful outdoor seating area with lots of twinkle lights, and it was just beautiful. We had such great conversation, and it was just so nice. She is the best vegan cook ever. She made this vegetable tagine, a tagine is like a big uh, Indian style Dutch oven type of thing. And she had this, I don't even know what kind of rice this is. It's not brown rice. I don't know, I should have asked her. And all these roasted veggies and it's all has Moroccan spices in it. It's absolutely delicious. It's got plenty of oil in it though, as you can see, but it was really good. She actually gave me the leftovers to take home. So I'm having it for lunch today. And then 
my other friend Stephanie was there. She grows her own sprouts. I need to figure out how she grows these beautiful sprouts like this, but she always has the most amazing sprouts. There's some little um, radish sprouts in there too. So I get to have this for lunch, yay. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful night and I will see you in the next video.